Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about cancellation versus reinforcement. So it's kind of two terms we've been dealing with in the past, but I want to apply them to a room situation because I think they more adequately describe what's going on. Because I get a lot of calls uh, from guys who say, you know, I can't hear this or I hear too much of this. So it's that, you know, two ends of, of the tail, so to speak, two, two ends of the extreme continuum. So we know from past videos that our room has this series of oscillating energy cycles in it. And we have peaks and troughs within the room that's created by the room and is defined, the distance between the peaks and troughs is defined by the distance of the room and the volume and the usage. So we have this oscillating wave situation going through the room. And at the peak of those oscillating waves, we're going to have some boost, some gain. At the troughs of those oscillating waves, we're going to have cancellation. So we're going to have things that you can't hear, and then you're going to have things that you're going to hear too much of. What's the classic example of that? Bass boom. Oh, too much low frequency energy. It's resonating throughout the room. Okay. So we have this series of ups and downs in terms of cycles. If we take a you know, sine wave and we look at how it moves, and then we take the distance between the peak and the trough, that's where all our, our world really exists, is between those two areas and between the cycles and the peaks and the troughs, between, between the two areas that, that we're focused upon. So a lot of people say, well, let's sit, don't sit in a null, don't sit in a peak. Okay, well, those are good good advices, but the best thing to do is, is not have any of them in the room at all. So we have to choose the right size and volume to eliminate that. So with cancellation, you can actually not hear certain frequencies. If, if you're in that, you know, that, that trough, if you're in that uh, cancellation area in your room, and you can EQ it, you can boost it, you can EQ the thing till your EQ blows up, so to speak. And you're still not going to hear it because the room's not going to let you. And this is the hardest thing for people to understand, that the room actually prohibits you from hearing certain frequencies. And it does. And I don't know how I can get that across to people. Uh, it's difficult. I try to explain the basis behind it. But I still get calls every day saying, well, I can't hear this or I can't hear that. Is there something wrong with my speaker? Is there something wrong with my amplifier? Probably not. Your speaker and your amplifier are functioning correctly and producing full range energy. Your room's not letting you hear it. So we have three links, so to speak, amplifier, speaker, and room. And those three things have to work together. So cancellation, reinforcement, real phenomenons that you have to take advantage of. Make sure you choose the right room size and volume to match your usage. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.